Hello, I'm Enter Elysium, and this is X3 Albion Prelude. Uh, basically, it's an amazing game, and I really enjoy it. And it's on sale right now. It's ten pounds, ten euros, and ten dollars. Yes, everyone outside the US is getting screwed on that one. Um, but it's an amazing game. Um, and Scott Manley's got a video series on it, but it, a lot of people say, "Oh, it looks so intimidating." And you know, it is quite an intimidating game. I mean, I only just got back into it and I had been like, oh, it's a bit intimidating, do I want to... But actually it's really easy to get back into and a lot of the stuff that applied in X3 Reunion, which is the original game, and then Terran Conflict was sort of a continuation and Album Prelude is basically a, a expansion based upon Terran Conflict. Sort of. Yeah. Um, and a lot of the same sort of stuff applies, except in Album Prelude you've got a stock exchange, which makes making money really, really easy. So I'm just going to sort of do a tutorial for how to get started, and at the same time I'm going to talk about why this game is amazing and why you should pick it up, if this at all appeals to you. Now of course this is more sort of niche, it won't appeal to everyone, but it's amazing. Right, we'll go Humble Merchant Start, you start off with uh, Discoverer, which is like a small, really light fighter, and you start off with the Mercury, which you start in, which is a big ass hauler ship. Um, there are other options. They start in different places. Uh, well, not all of them. I think Arg and Peacekeeper start in the same place as Humble Merchant. But uh, Terran Commander, you start as a, a Terran with a badass Corvette. Peacekeeper, you start off in Argon space with a badass Corvette. Maybe not as badass. The Terrans have got some really tricked out cool stuff. Um, but yeah, sort of the same principles apply uh, as we're using. So you can pretty much do. Uh, whatever you want. We're gonna start off as a humble uh, merchant though, mainly because we could use the nice big cargo space to make loads of monies. Uh, now I'm gonna show you a little bit more of the trading at the beginning than I need to necessarily, skip that, mainly because uh, it's good to know how that works because that's what's gonna get you money in the long term. Now there's an easy way to get short money at the beginning once you've got a little bit of startup cash. Right. This is Argon. us. Flight school. Press F1. Nova. There we go. Use the numpad keys to toggle around. This is our ship. There are many like it, but this one is ours. And that below us there Discoverer. is our discoverer. Uh, now at any point you can go Shift E to get out of your ship. Eject. There's a link up there in one of the menu bars, but... Look around. And if you need to at all repair your ship because it's got damaged, you can use your little repair tool. And this is important, I'm telling you right away, because occasionally your autopilot will decide that, you know, flying straight into an asteroid is a legitimate tactic. Uh, and you may have to do this. And also, if you try and sell a ship that's damaged, it gets a lot less health, uh, a lot less money for it. So, point at your ship, hold right click. The health will go up very slowly depending on how much health the ship has and how big it is. So if this Attention. if our Mercury, our big transport, was actually damaged, this would take a long time. Uh, so what we do, uh, you run out of energy, what we do, get something heavy, so I used my mobile phone earlier today when my ship ran into an asteroid. I also used my headphones when it mysteriously collided with something. Just leave it on your mouse. Leave it doing that. And uh, yeah. Go do something else. No, seriously. Um, Mercury. Let's get back into our ship. Enter ship. Right, now, first of all, we're going to use Mercury for hauling some cargo to make a little start cache, and we're going to sell the little light fighter, the Discoverer, to be able to make some funds for our startup. I mean, you've got some at the beginning. If we look over here... There we go. We've got less than 10,000 in our account. That's not really enough to start off properly. Uh, also, we might want to rename ourselves. Hit M. And we are going to be... Elis... Diago. There we go, Elis of Argon. Um, you can also rename your ship. If you press R, you'll get a list of things you own. Uh, so we can click on things and 
you can do M change your mercury to something really imaginative like mercury transport or serenity F serenity uh, serenity there we go and let's just forte lulls our discoverer is now going to be called big sale bargain because of course we are going to sell that now R is what you want to do to do that M is the toggle for renaming things so if you press it by itself when you've got your there you go personnel you'll get your name up anyway cool beans click and drag now ain't that a pretty sight now you can navigate to things by clicking on them. Prime. Double click. Click. Argon gate. Argon Prime. Autopilot fly through. Shift A. That'll be the default autopilot, I believe. And then you will start to accelerate. Very slowly. Now we need to use SATA, which is Singularity Enhancement Time Accelerator. Press J. Bam. You'll see it's now at 600%. That's not good enough. So let's go into gameplay in the options. And let's up this to 10. And also, because I prefer numbers, numerical shield or hull display. Escape to get back. J to put the accelerator on again. And you'll notice we're now at 1,000%, uh, uh, 10 times. Ah, look, it's such a pretty game. Separate cloud layers rotating around the planet. I mean, they're not dynamic, but meh, I don't care. It looks so pretty. And of course, this is basically the same engine as uh, X3 Reunion, which was the first in the X3 series, which came out a really long time ago. And I got it fairly close to release, and then just never played it because it was so bugged out. Never get an X game on release. They're buggy as hell. Get them a while after, um, oh, they also have a habit of including DRM, which just makes the game not work. <laughs> they had secure on DRM with the uh, X3 reunion. That was hilarious. You might as well have just said the game doesn't work Entering on launch. System. Argon Prime. Now, it's just going to put it in a random direction. So, let's press period. Double click down here. Period brings up the map. Our sensors haven't detected much. And we're, we're looking basically for the shipyard. And let's press J. Speed up time again. Do, 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 do. It should try and avoid crashing into things, hopefully. Right, now let's just have a look around. What we're looking for is something that looks like a, uh, a shipyard. Argon equipment dock. Image recognition. Production complex. Boron biotransporter. Argon Stock Exchange. That is a stock exchange. It is not the one we were using. Now, the question is, in this game, do you use sector maps at all? Because, um... A lot of stuff, like, if we hit... Shift... No, not shift. You'll see, like, it tells you that the gate goes to, like, Heron's Nebula. Which is the one we started in. And if you find another gate, it'll tell you where it goes. But it won't ever appear on... Press comma key this. It will, it will show a line, but it won't show you where it's going to. And I find it a bit weird that you don't have a map of known sectors considering what... Light weapons complex. Not Alpha. what we're looking for. I find it a bit weird that we don't have a... Uh, ooh, is that what we're looking for? Yes, that is what we're looking for. I find it a bit weird that we don't have a map of all sectors, despite the fact that, well, they're kind of known. It's not like... Mm -hmm. It's just a bit odd. So I'm perfectly happy to play with a map of known sectors next to me. 
if you aren't happy to do that, cool, I understand that. Um, in which case, when I start talking about spoilery exploration things, which aren't really spoilers, they're just telling you where things are, uh, I'll put a link annotation to jump you ahead. Right, now we need to go backspace, kill our speed. This is the shipyard. What do we need to do at the shipyard? Well, we need to sell our ship. So let's go R. Select big sale bargain. We can go to orders and then command. Or we could just select it and press C. Navigation. Docking granted. Dock at my target. You can also go dock at and then select it through the screen. But since we had it selected as a target anyway. It'll do its thing. And then let's go J. Time acceleration. Do 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 do. Time acceleration is your friend in this game. Right, and it's here. That didn't take all too long, did it? And that's going to go dock. Now it's time for us to dock. So we've got that selected Locking as our target, granted. hit shift D, or you can go autopilot auto dock app. Auto and J to speed up time. See our discoverer. Discovery. There it is. Successfully docked. On behalf of our president. Go to trade or hit D. The Argon Federation welcomes you aboard. Connection to local trading network established. Discoverer. Discoverer. Attention. Security. The Argon Discoverer. There we go. Sell ships. Big sale bargain. It'll give us 35,629 credits. So, select it. You can go up or down by using the mouse, or home or end to toggle between all and none. So, do that. And it tells us that we'll go up in rank to an Argon Discoverer confirmed friend. Sold. You have gained recognition. There we go. And the arm's gone up, and we're now a Federation member. So now we want to undock and go do some trading. Now just point away from the station, hit tab. Now there is another way to do that, but you know, I'm going to go through the easy stuff first. Uh, and let's go to the equipment dock because we want to get our tricked out. We can't do dock autopilot because we're too close to the station. J until we're far away from the station. Docking granted. Autopilot activated. Dock me at the equipment dock. Ah, right. Sorry if my throat sounds a bit weird. There. Yeah. Having a bad throat day. It's a good job I'm not recording any videos today. Oh yeah. Um right, cool. Ba 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 ba. Pretty game. Now Terran Conflict happens after X3 reunion and then Alvin Prelude's basic expansion. Successfully docked. And it's like what? Senator, ten quid at the, the moment. Welcomes you ten dollars. Ten euros. So everyone outside started. America gets screwed. We're kind of used to that. Um, right, now we need to trade. So I'd say it's definitely worth this it if this seems at all interesting. For use in the mass driver. Each projectile oh, we don't need that. Is a self-contained unit consisting of the projectile itself and a small armor piece. Now this is really helpful. It'll tell you stuff and you can also hit U to get information. Um, now what do we want? We want a scanner. A duplex scanner, because we've got only got a single range scanner. Duplex will double it. Duplex scanner okay. We want... Trade system extension. 
Trading system extension installed. It's good to know. And what else is there? Mm -hmm. We could get the boost extension, but uh, I'm honestly I don't really mind that much for now. How much would it be to get this? this products are Too much. Out. Right. We can now, instead of undocking, go to comma. Mouse is playing up. This uh, this isn't part of the the tutorial. Heron's Nebula. North gate, autopilot fly through, and it'll take you there. Okay, I'm going to speed up the next bit for you so you don't have to put up with it. Now, of course, we have a nice uh, remote price tracking system and we have a bigger scanning range. Why is this awesome? It means that we don't have to dock to everywhere to find out the price. Admittedly you can get a, uh, an idea for the price by checking their stock levels, which you can do remotely. It is the power circle. And we're back! Autopilot. What do we do now? We're in power circle. Why is it power circle? Because it's got a fuckload of solar power plants. Solar and we can do this. Click on them. M. Solar power plants you. produce energy. They are found and look, it's got energy cells and are being produced. And, and it's got resources it takes in, primary and secondary. We don't really need to care about them because at the moment we're not going to be selling them to them because crystals are harder to really find and sell. The easiest one, as a noob, is energy cells because they're easy as hell. Um, let's go shift D to dock. Docking granted. Autopilot activated. Right. Um, now, whilst does its thing, energy cells. Notice that the stock is nearly full. That's why the price is so low. Average price for an energy cell, I think, is 16. It can drop to 12, which it has done. And it can go up to 19 if someone really desperately needs them. So what we're going to do is we're going to go in and we're going to buy all the energy cells at the low price. Go find someone that needs them desperately and got a really low stock of them and uses them as a resource and sell them to them at a much higher price and you can probably do this within power circle so you don't have to even leave the bloody system SATA now the only worry is if someone gets there first and I have had it happen that someone's literally docked right next to me just before me and stolen all the energy cells thus making the price go back up come on doesn't seem there's anyone in lane. Looks like I might be able to steal the bargain here. Successfully docked. On behalf Trade. Of President and Senator, the Argon Home. Buy all. Connection to we can't quite fill up our ship, which is a shame, but enter. You are being promoted. And we've only got seven credits left. But we've now got a hold, almost full, of cheap energy cells. Notice the price has gone back up a little bit, but you know we could have bought a lot more. Problem is, we didn't have the cargo space for it. Now, if we have a look on the sector map, what can we see? A, a trading station. Argon Admittedly, you can have a look. How much do they want to buy stuff for? Uh, they haven't got you. Right, okay. So, let's undock manually. And go looking. What are we looking for? Uh, somewhere that will sell. Uh, well, not sell, sell. Somewhere that will buy energy cells. Free for instance. Trading station. No, no, not that one. For instance, ore mines or silicon mines. That's what you'll find in uh, this system. Uh, what's it called? Power Circle. Power Circle has mines and it has solar power plants. I'm pretty sure what it does. And this ahead of us looks like a mine. So we're just basically gonna 
Do do do. Notice that our scan range is much bigger because we've got the duplex scanner. You can get a triplex scanner, we'll probably get at some point, but Ormond right now I've got this in range. You. Energy cells, because they're buying 17. The it's not great. Average is 16. We could probably find better. So let's go over here. And J. Ormond How about you? Press U. You're buying for 18. You will take. So, dock at target. Actually, let's bring that up and then you can watch the price. Because someone else brings some, the price will change. And the economy in this game is quite dynamic. It's a lot of fun. Um, I remember having crashed part of the economy in one sector in X3 because I set up a couple of uh, stations that process goods. Because, you know, you can get to the point where you own entire stations. And, you know, after this tutorial, you'll probably be able to afford a fair few. Successfully docked. On behalf of our president and Senate, trade. the Argon Federation Energy cells. Connection to local okay. trading network Bam. You are being promoted. And what do we have before? Like, 35,000, 32,000, we're now on 48,000. So that was quite quick. Actually, while we're here... Uh, what is the price of your ore? The ore is the huh. most common mineral throughout the whole known universe. It is used That's a fair price for ore, but I think we have to take it to another system. Goods. Um, ore bottoms out at 50. And you can see the stock's quite full, so I was expecting it to be lower than that, but... We'll do a little bit more of energy cells at the moment, and then we'll we'll run off. We'll do an ore trip, and then I'll show you how to use the stock exchange. Because the stock exchange only exists in Alvin Prelude. However, uh, basic trade rules apply throughout all the games, and the the most reliable way to make cash, really. So let's just fly over here. Why are we flying over here? Because I'm hoping that there's more power plants. There is. It's almost like I actually knew that. Solar power plants produce energy. They are found energy cells, 12 credits, almost full stock. Bam! Docking granted. Autopilot See, this is why you trade in energy cells. Now the one problem with energy cells is once you've got a lot of money, or even a tiny bit of money really, uh, you'll find that you can't fill up your cargo. You can fill up your cargo hold, and you still have a lot of cash left because they're a cheap commodity, and the margin on them, even if you buy at twelve and sell at nineteen, is only fifty percent. And there are better margins. I think you can get margins on ore of like buy at fifty, sell at like uh, two hundred. So you're making four times off it. Well, three times when you factor in the buying cost. Successfully docked. On behalf of our president and senator, so let's buy all the energy cells. I know they're an extra large power plant, so they've still got so much left that we haven't even affected the price. Now, if we bring up local map, silicon mines are built around small. You know they want sixteen. Sixteen. They're still on eighteen. We can go back to them. They're on 18. Uh, we'll go to these guys. J for time acceleration. While we're here, actually, I just want to check the price of... Silicon mines are built around small asteroids which are analyzed before for their rich... Now, they've got nearly full stock on silicon, so I assume that's going to be, like, a very close to bottom price. But I don't know, actually, because I haven't played this game in a while. Now the ore there is crashing to 62. 52. Right, well, we're going to go here, obviously. Sell all our power cells. And then grab a whole load of ore. <sighs> it's quite a, it's not a fast paced game um, unless you get straight into the combat but uh, I quite like the trading actually in this game um, it's kind of fun cool beans right 
see, it's nice finding out how you can take advantage of little things like, oh, well, they're selling and they're buying, so let's go there. So, deep trade. Docked. On behalf of our president and senator, reconnection to local trading network established. You may have all of them. You are being products are not bought. And we will have all of them. Bought. And notice that really our credits didn't really change in that because we used the entire profit from the energy cells to buy a whole load of ore. And now we'll probably have to gonna go to a different sector to sell this. Oh my god, different sectors? It's almost like this is a planned tutorial where you're going and expanding more and more. No, it just happened actually the ore was really useful. Good price here. Da -da -da, da -da -da. Yes, uh, I'm probably going to speed this up again. So, in addition to my SATA being active at 10 times, enjoy uh, some after post production editing speeding up. This production facility. Okay, I'll be honest, I was hoping that uh, these guys would be buying ore for a decent price. I mean, if we'd gone with the silicon, we'd have made. A lot of money off that. Look how much they're wanting for silicon because they've got hardly any stock. But look at the raw. The margin would be awful. So let's just go through the southern gate and keep going. Alright, we really should go on silicon, but we'll go here. It's probably about the same margin, really, but we could have fit more silicon in the hold. This laser bum, bum, bum. production complex bring up. produces several do, do, do. types of light ship weapons, used mostly in fighter craft. Now, we could wait and see if the price goes uh, up anymore, but it's likely that someone might come along and actually deliver them more, in which case we wouldn't be making any profit. So let's just grab it now. Also, I'm impatient. Successfully docked. On behalf of our president and senator, the Argon Federation welcomes you aboard. Yep, it's gone up. But now one eight three. Not terrible. You are sold. We now have eleven thousand five. Sorry, we have 115,000. Don't know what I'm on about. Uh, right, we actually want to go south from here now. Because once you've got enough cash... Oh no, we don't want to quit. Uh, I'm docked. Okay. A ship is landing. Oh yes, uh, X, increase your throttle, Z, decrease your throttle. Can't remember if I mentioned that. Tab, like, maxes your throttle, backspace minimizes your throttle, i.e. zero. So it'll stop your ship. I don't know if I mentioned that. Probably should have. Okay, we went south from Argon Prime. We're now in Home of Light. And we want to go to the Terracorp HQ. Now... Best buyer's locator, best selling price locator. Incredibly useful. Basically, you can jump into a sector, have a look at the stuff, and be like, "Yep, I'll have that." The best buys, best buys locator installed. Best selling price locator. Transport device is cool, installed. but it's a bit expensive for us at the moment, so we'll leave it at that. And actually, go Argon Prime. Docking Equipment dock. Autopilot dock at. Activated. Activate SATA, and again, I will leave you to it. And by leave you to it, I mean let you watch this at many, many times speed. Look how pretty it is.
And we're back. Successfully docked. On behalf of our president. What do we want? What do we want? What do we want? The Confederation welcomes you aboard. Connection to local trading network established. It's nice. Well, we want the engine tuning. Because we want to go fast. You could extend your cargo bay, but that gets expensive. And also, going fast means that you can transport cargo quicker. You can transport more cargo in a certain time frame. So, rudder optimization, turn faster. How much is that? Hmm. I would love the rudder optimization. Products are not bought. Products are not bought. How much would it be? Rudder optimization uh, yeah. installed. And we could get cargo bay extension, but like I said, meh. Boost extension. This boost However, extension means that allows your ship to accelerate with three times its normal acceleration. This extension is essential in some combat situations. And also, if you want to go fast. Boost extension installed. Right. So now we have a badass tricked out ship. Let's go back to power circle. Uh-huh. Fly through. And yet again, you'll be seeing the fast forward screen of the fast forwarded fast forward. And we're back. Right, now I've got the uh, best buys and best selling locator. Hit five. That's your best uh, selling location. Hit six. That's your best buying location. So, what is there? We can buy Argus, Ar Argu Beef for 63, and its average is 104. Energy cells. Ooh, they're 12. And the average is 16. Well, we know that. And tells the difference there. Or okay, that's useful. Or being fifty, and the, that there. Well, we know that silicon's not a, really a buy at the moment. Look at that; it's more expensive than the average. Right. Well, we could buy that. We could buy energy cells. Although, admittedly, I think we're getting a bit past energy cells. Although, yeah, they're really good safe commodity to do. You can do them. Problem is. You'll soon max out your, col your hold ability, and every trip you'll be making the cap on how much you'll be making on them, because there's no way you can fit more energy cells in, even if you're making the maximum amount. So, I think Auto we'll dock at this station. Activated. Good. We are scanned. Uh, my pleasure. Mainly no because we've got nothing on board. So that would Thanks kind of be the key point. Uh, anyway. <clears throat> Bam! Successfully docked. On behalf of our president and senator, the Argon Federation welcomes you aboard. Connection to local trading network established. Because they're one away from their limit. Bought. So, buy that. I wish we could buy more, but we can't. And then let's just, uh, if we go, can we go five and six we're in here? Yeah, cool. There are no buyers for ore. That's probably because we're not in range on the Attention. map, I guess. Maintenance problem on level one. Undock. Uh, let's just point away. No but buyers for all, really? Who need who needs all? None of you guys are gonna need all. Oh well. That'd be why. Because none of you actually need all. Anyway. Then use the same thing. That will show you the best place to buy and sell, and it will say the difference and the average, and you know the maximum credit you can get in the area. And that's how you make money by trading. Now, I'm afraid this episode has gone a bit longer than I planned. Oopsie. But, that was easy money. Next, I'll be showing you how to get incredibly easy money. And that will be a relatively short episode. 
Um, so, I've been Antilisium, and stay shiny.